Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, T and Comics. This video I'm just going to show off the Stray Bullets uh, Uber Alice edition, so essentially the compendium. Um, this is um, my copy. It is a used, like, remaindered copy, much like my Invincible uh, compendium number two. Um, I actually got these together. Uh, the compendium number two and this one. That's why I only actually spent $15 on this uh, when the cover price is uh, $60 uh, US. Um, so just here's the front of it. I'll show off the spine and the back. So yeah, this, uh, this collects the entire Stray Bullets, the original series. I believe it's, uh, let's see how many issues are in here? It's like 40 something. Um, this is the, so this is the entire original series. Then there's Stray Bullets Killers, uh, which is collected in a trade paperback. And then the new series, Stray Bullets Sunshine and Roses is like 40 some issues in I think now and they're starting to collect those as trade paperbacks. Um, you can get this as trade paperbacks as well, like the smaller, there's five of those, um, but this collects all of it. Um, but yeah, so this book, uh, much like the Invincible Compendiums, I think that this is a good value. I mean, I again, I paid $15, so my opinion might be a little skewed, um, but even for like, 60 bucks. This is the cheapest way you can kind of get all of the stray bullets in print. I'm sure you could get it cheaper digitally. Um, uh, it was just, I think it's good build. It's holding together. Like this is bought remaindered and it was also from like the used section. So I don't know how many times this thing got read. The, just like the invincible compendiums, the spine has a bit of a curve to it after reading, but like you know, it's not cracked or anything. I made sure to kind of hold it fairly tight while reading it. You know, I would keep my hand like here, but I could still open it. Um, you know, pretty much all the way. You know, you're not um, losing too much in the gutter. The nice thing with this one, um, yeah, just keep in mind I am opening this, so it shouldn't be too much for spoilers, but just, just uh, FYI. Um, here, just this page. The nice thing with Stray Bullets is it's pretty much all in this eight panel grid. And so you have panel borders on pretty much every page. There's not even, I can't even think of a single page where there's like a, a splash page. So a lot of the gutter is um, the panel borders. And so you don't really lose uh, much in there. I mean, yeah, sure, there's like writing in there, but like it's because you have those panel borders, that's kind of what gets sucked into there. and. Yeah, it, it's pretty good for what it is. I mean, if you want um, a bit more comfortable of a reading experience, then maybe go for the smaller trade paperbacks. But uh, this, I think, if you just want to sit down with Stray Bullets, the original series, I enjoyed reading this. This series is great. This this video isn't meant as a review, but um, this is one of my favorite uh, series of all time. And I, I actually haven't really read too much of the newest stuff, like The Sunshine and Roses. Um, so I'm excited to kind of get into that. I have uh, the first trade paperback and there's uh, like two or three of them released now. So, but anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Oh, the one last thing is uh, these books, just like the Invincible ones, uh, I don't know if I mentioned, mentioned it in that video, but they're pretty bare bones. Like you have, you know, the opening credits, kind of what books are in there, uh, uh, credits page, and then it literally just launches into issue one and boom, you're into the series. And at the back, you know, it's like a little bio on uh, David and, and Maria Lapham. And I won't show the last page, but it's literally like, um, the other side of this page is like the final issue, the final page of the issue. So there's no extras or anything. This is just if you want to read Stray Bullets, that's what these compendiums are great for. They're just like readers' copies. They're meant to be read. Um, they look good on a shelf too. If you And they don't like, fall apart that bad like you know there's a little bit of damage here but this was bought for $15 and if you take care of it even if you buy it brand new you know they'll last um quite a while so they're good for just if you want to sit down and read a giant book 
Uh, invincible compendiums are good. Same with the stray bullets. So that's it for this video. Uh, if you have any more questions about the compendium um, or Uber ALS edition, uh, just let me know. I'll try to answer them. And yeah, take care.